Yo, Seka, is uh, Ning Wong, Ning Wong, Albedo, Zhang Li, and uh, Noel a good team comp? What? No. Why would you use 4Geo in one team? Oh, already leveled it and did everything with it, right? Yeah, I'm big sage. Seka, is uh, official, Jangling, Traveler, and Jin Chu a good team? Uh, bro, you forgot to put a healer on your team. Oops. Hello, Saka. Is, if it's not too much of a spot of bother, is, is Chongong, Razor, Venti, and Fischl a good composition? Um, not really, because you don't have Superconduct on the team, uh, because Chongong is going to overtake the element for physical for Razor, and on top of that, you can't really hit things inside of a Venti Swirl. Oh, yes, I had not thought of that. You know, why don't I just make a video about, like, my favorite team compositions so you guys can use some of those, maybe? Bro, you should have done that, like, three months ago. I agree, Sega. It's entirely inefficient of you. Why have you not done this? Don't worry, Sega. I still love you. Yo, what's going on, guys? Sega Buckle here, bringing you another Genshin Impact video. We're going to jump into a bunch of teams uh, that I used in 2020, and now I'm going to use it into 2021. And hopefully we're going to get something out of it so you can find some team compositions or spark some ideas in your own brain. Let's jump into it. Yes, that War with George Payne was a pain in the ass. All right, the first team we're going to be running today is called it's called Beidou Lightning. All right, so for this team right now, we have different artifacts that's for each character. We go over the weapons first. We got Fast Stream Desire, Widzith, Rain Slasher, and Stringless on the characters. For artifacts right now, we have a Witch Set. We have a Hydro, full four-piece Hydro for Mona. We have a two-piece Hydro, two-piece, uh, sorry, two-piece Noble S, two-piece Thunder Fury for Beidou, and a four-piece Viridescent for Venti. This set kind of relies, on, uh, this overall strategy relies on grouping enemies together like this, using a Bennett to get the overall damage out, using Mona Ultimate in the mix, throwing this out, and then throwing the Beidou Lightning strategy out, and then doing lots of damage against one enemy and then finishing him out. It's a really good uh, DPS strategy for burning through a lot of enemies all, like, really, really quickly, quickly. And the nice thing is that a lot of your ultis come up very quickly afterward, except for the Beidou Ultimate, unless you, because uh, you're popping it last, unless you get a lot of hits in with the Beidou Ultimate. Now, many players, of course, do not have everything on this list, and they have, you know, a lot of less, less units. I could use Sucrose here instead for Venti, but Venti, but it just makes it a lot easier to show because I'm not going to put any gear on my Barbara. Uh, for this, for Barbara, right now, she's not rocking any artifacts whatsoever, really, and she's got some Maiden pieces on. Um, we got uh, Official over here with some Fizz pieces. She's actually not even, she does not have uh, an Electro Goblet, but she is C6 to use it for this idea. So this is the replacement style strategy. So you're going to go in Venti here, just like normal. And they're going to go in with Bennett. They're going to go in and drop one of these. And then they're going to go in for the overloads. Now, you can also throw in Barbara to get water vaporizes in here. Or you can use Fischl while they're up in the air to get lots of damage in. Uh, personally, I find either strategy will really fine. But if you wanted to use Barbara for just getting lots of Fizz damage in, you can use a Cryo character like Chi Chi in order to get lots of damage in. If you want to do a Fizz strategy along with this, you can a CC and damage at the same time. Okay. On my Azure server account for grouping mechanics, I'm only stuck with Animal Traveler because I don't have anyone else. So what I end up doing a lot of the time is bringing enemies back by just repositioning my overall account, get everyone grouped so they're coming at me, and then I start using abilities to get them on me. Uh, it's a lot easier that way, and I don't have to worry about too much all the time. So it does, of course, take a little bit longer because you do have to wait for enemies to group, and then you can just move in with them. But unfortunately, it's just how you gotta do things. Okay, and then... With this, you can also use swirl mechanics, etc., to get your ultis back up, and then just keep rotating through. But it's really easy to use just Animal Traveler to just get everything done. It's kind of nice, actually, as well, so I don't have to worry about too much. And I really do like after playing Animal Traveler a lot. I really like her as a for him as a grouping character. We're gonna go ahead and use this again. Bam. Okay. You can throw the Gobo Bear inside, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Animal Traveler at the end here. Bam. And you can see you get, you get a lot of ulti bit charge back as well. Goodness. And I haven't even had to use Bennett as a whole full time, which is really cool. Uh, it's really safe, little bro. But and I don't have to use um, the Shinshu ulti as often as well. So I can, if I needed to use it, I could, but I don't have to, which is real nice. And if I want to just go in and save ultis, I can actually just recharge my ultis really quickly. So it's a little slower, but it does work, do the trick, especially since Animal Traveler does a really good job. You don't use Zhongli, Pillar, instead of Jinchu to do lots of damage as well, but having characters inside the swirl is really, really nice. Let's take my run away with Albedo and Zhongli, as well as Fischl. Uh, my Fischl, by the way, had an Amos bow from that last run, but for this, I'm going to be using Harbinger of Dawn and Skyward Spine for my two characters, and for artifacts for them, I have a uh, two-piece Archery Petro with two-piece Noblesse Oblige with a defense rolled set, uh, and over here on Zhongli, I have two-piece Noblesse as well as two-piece Archaic Petra. 
Now before I go in, what I'll usually do is go ahead and drop a, a shield up from this, drop in, and then we're just going to do Fischl's Bird and then start wailing at people. Nice thing about this strategy is because I do have a lot of Fizz Resist, we're able to just do lots of Fizz damage out on enemies, but you can see, as you can see, it's clearly slower than using animal character to group with other enemies. But I do have lots of ultimates up on this build all the time because of how the strategy kind of plays out, and I can use Bennett Ultimate in order to get lots of damage. But what I do find is that you kind of need to use Bennett, if you use Bennett Ultimate, you really do need to bring down the... Um, Oh, what's her name? This lady first. Uh, the Season Mage first. Otherwise, you're going to get Overload spammed against you, which is really, really bad. But as you can see, there's lots of Surge damage that pops out from many different sources uh, for this build. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this, 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 one of these. And we're just going to start hitting this thing. And wait for this dude to pop out. He's getting popped. At the same time, oh, my fish got one shot. My fish got one shot. <laughs> Um, it's not really my favorite. That's one of the things the reason I don't really like Fizz builds right here. This main main issue that I have with it is this kind of thing. But you can use Bennett as an alternate DPS, so that's what I usually do, and it does lots of damage. Alternatively, you can use Fischl from high ground to do lots of damage as well. Now, of course, the Fizz carry that you're using can be Razor, any Fizz character you want, like a Kaching, whatever you want for the, the Lightning character. Uh, all Fizz carries for Lightning kind of work from the spot. Beidou could work even, uh, but Razor is probably the best one. Fischl is just the one. This that is the Pyro Resonance strategy with Bennett as well as Jin Yang, and we're going to be using Chi Chi for Superconduct. So we're going to strategy, of course, to use uh, Jin Yang going in. You can use Chi Chi after that if you want to, and then try to get some ice up on the right characters over here. And then just Superconduct up, and then you start wailing on people. It does lots of damage to a single target, but unfortunately, like a character like Fischl, you are going to have issues because you're going to be always trying to hit the character because you're going to be at distance with him and have issues with your overall kit because of it because she can only hit one target. Um, unfortunately, that's just the, the nature of how Fischl works, and there's not much you can do about it. But if you do use her, uh, you can use Chi Chi to get lots of hits in, to get lots of healing in, so there's always no, a lot of pressure that you can apply against enemies, and you don't have to worry about extra damage that you're doing all the time. But unfortunately, since it is a character kind of a kit that's really reliant on you getting uh, lots of damage in on well, single target you do have to get down a lot of enemies very quickly on edges i don't find this to be my favorite strategy it is just something that you can do to get spread out enemies down really quickly official but physical in general is not my favorite cup all right the next strategy i got is kind of a geo dominant strategy with an animal character just for grouping it actually allows ningwang to do a lot more aoe which is kind of nice you can actually start it up early with with using a character like albedo to get lots of suppression in so what I'm going to do here, of course, is start up and group with Venti. And then we can, of course, just switch over to Bennett like usual. Switch over to this, and you can see you get lots of hits in by doing that. Lots of AoE, tons of damage in overall. You don't have to worry about too much, and it does massive damage to any target. Uh, it's a very, very good grouping strategy because Ningwang with her C1 is, is able to use a lot of damage to single targets, and her ultimate does mad lad damage. Plus, uh, in addition, uh, you're also getting Albedo on top of that, getting the extra hits from Albedo from Surge damage, etc., and lots of energy recharge in the mix along with it. So you can see your ultimates up very quickly by doing that. You can also use a similar strategy with Sucrose as well and Zhongli. I find this to be a really defensive strategy. You can then put pillars down initially if you wanted to, to cheese the domain and get yourself a little bit more uh, easy damage in, but unnecessary to do so. You can also pop a shield early if you want to to get like that, make that life a little easier. So what I can do early is actually go ahead and pop in with Sucrose. I can go in with this. You can actually even switch over to a pyro element and we can actually just go in with lots of damage. And because they're grouping from Sucrose, we get lots of damage in, as you can see, on many enemies. And there's lots of enemy hits coming out. You can also switch back to Zhongli, get a hit in with him, the freeze out so you don't have to worry about enemies hitting you. And you can also switch back to ultis, go all the way in and just have easy suppression on enemies while doing lots of damage. Now, unfortunately, with the problems of this fight, the team, of course, is that you can't really get Geo Resonance. Uh, you get the Geo Resonance up pretty easily, but the problem with the uh, the Geo Resonance, along with using an Animo character, is that you can't use Animo characters to lower Geo Resistance really effectively. So the new Geo Resist uh, Resonance is going to make Geo um, the Geo Resist down very very nice. Another one of the teams I use, of course, is with Klee. And I, with my Klee right now, she's rocking, of course, Lost Prayer. Let's show the Ning before. And then now I use a, uh, a two-piece Gladiator as well as a two-piece Witch Set. Uh, the, the strategy is, remains pretty much the same for all, all characters throughout every phase if you're using this, if, whether you're using Animal Traveler or using this. But I do end up getting lots of damage in with this, and I can actually switch over and switch back to Venti, whatever I need to, and continues to show up. Now, this team kind of relies on having less elements reactions, which I don't really like, and I use for uh, other domains. But I do find that it is a really nice team to just, like, pressure down enemies. And with the new Ganyu support coming in, I can actually take out Albedo uh, on my team and actually use a different character in general in order to boost my damage even further. 
count. This is one of my favorite teams to run. I'm running Chow Young and Bennett with Amber, and I end up running this team a lot. I really do like it. It's really, really fun. So what I end up doing a lot of the time is I go in with Venti or whatever whatever equipment character I want to use, and then I'm going to go in with Chow Young right afterward, follow that up with some Amber right here, go in with uh, one of these, and then we're going to Ice Storm right here. And then we're going to go in with uh, the Bennett. And a little farther away on that. But I find the team to be really, really fun against a lot of enemies. So it's really cool to use Chung and Benny together. But unfortunately, the main issue I have with Chung, as you can see, he kind of gets knocked up in the air uh, at times because he's just such a pega. And uh, other issue with this team is that the headshots on Amber against like these guys do not do a lot of damage because they are fire resistant. So I do find that to be a little bit annoying. But you get your ultimates up pretty quickly, and it is a good team synergy overall for a lot of characters. So one of the reasons I ended up maining Kaya as my main DPS on my free-to-play account is because we were testing between Shang Young and Bennett before, and all the different strategies that you could utilize with the two characters. And Kaya ended up doing so much more damage that I just couldn't even uh, justify using the uh, uh, the Chung Young. Unfortunately, it just kind of rolled out that way, and it just it is what it is. Kaya just does more damage. There's not much to do about it. But um, when they started doing physical builds with Kaya and started getting even further and further and further, it just went even through the roof, and the Kaya just went crazy. So uh, the team strategy works exactly the same as you if you use Chung Young, but you know you just use an E in before you use an ulti, and then you ulti at the end versus an uh, inside the storm. Fights. What I end up doing a lot of time is I use uh, characters like. Bennett, Animal Traveler, etc. in order to get myself a lot of damage in. But I, what I end up doing is using different abilities like this to lower uh, different kinds of resistances. And by doing that, I'm able to get lots of damage in on the enemies. I can use Vaporize in opposite directions, forward directions, whatever I need to do, and actually end up using um, a lot of ultis in general just to get this done. So it's a, it's a nice little strategy to get lots of damage in. And you can see here, I don't really do much damage while doing this, but I do get energy recharge really back really, really quickly. And I'm able to use Animal Traveler in a nice way to get ultimates back up, continuously rotate through abilities, and if I need to, get big hits in. So um, overall, I find it to be a really effective strategy in order to get yourself ulti rotations done really quickly with Shin Chu, Jang Ling, and Bennett. Most commonly using for single target is Kaching paired with Animal Traveler. I end up using the two together in order to get use the Viridus and Viriner cell to lower the resistances of enemies and do lots of elemental damage to them. So I can start off with Kaching, switch over to the Traveler, switch off back to the Kaching here and do lots of damage. And I can then switch over to Bennett, do hit two hits with Bennett, and switch back, do a re reaction, and then come back to Kaching and just start it all over again. A nice little way to get lots of rotations in, and then I can switch back to Kaching uh, off of that and get many hits in doing a lots of electro charge reactions etc unfortunately by using jinchu with traveler sometimes you get to the mix where you can't get the electro resist down because the, the jinchu will actually eat the electro charge ability and you're not able to get everything up perfectly so what i end up doing sometimes on other teams i end up using uh bennett Zhang ling and jinku together in order to get myself a dps rotation that i really like in order to get lots of damage in on enemies this allows me to get many elements of reactions in while, at the same time while also keeping the particles i want up on enemies now if i do switch over to Zhang ling i can actually switch back over after all the rotations are done get the reactions in and then start up with a jinchu rotation as you can see here doing lots of damage to an enemies and have a lot of energy recharge for my kachin unfortunately i don't really have a lot of energy recharge for my jinku because he currently only at constellation one but if he was at constellation six i'd be a lot better off i ended up only having a harbinger of the dawn for him but if i ended up getting a sacrificial sword much earlier in the game i would have been able to invest resources in that to get him a sacrificial sword early on to give him large amounts of energy recharge for enemies but if i do get him to constellation six i'll have a really good spot now at times, of course, I do use Barbara with the Thrilling Tails as well. And by using Barbara with the Thrilling Tails, I can actually use this for more of a freeze comp to keep abilities in place, but it does have a problem. And the main problem I find with freeze comps is that the enemies will break out if you're gonna use a melt a little bit too quickly. So if I end up switching to Barbara and then switch back to Amber, you'll notice that if I get to the end of the chair shot, it's just the very edge of where he was on his overall damage. So if I get to here again, bam, just the very edge of it. He was just about to break out of it and any longer would have been really bad. Nice thing though, of course, is I can actually switch over to characters like Bennett and get lots of melt reactions in to switch over and over and over again. I can also, if it's raining, I can use vaporized reactions on Amber and switch back and forth. This team composition relies on a lot of switching and a lot of good damage, switching between characters to get lots of damage in. So I do like it, but it is a little bit tricky. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. My name is Seiko Poco. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed some team compositions that hopefully will give you some ideas on how to play the game in, in different ways that I'm currently playing it. Um, I do use a lot of different other team compositions, but this is just like uh, I over an hour worth of recordings for this video. And these are the ones I thought would be the best ones to show you guys. So I didn't want to like take too much of your time. But well, I got to drop Dave out of school. But thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. Peace.